wow, check out my groovy pillow. My parents are from there. I grew up around here. I used to live over here. And I'm broadcasting to you from over here. <sighs> All that dancing, drinking, and eating. That's why I'm here to talk to you about sleeping. Fresh from my own bed. I slept in this chair. Without makeup, with my head wrap still on, and with glasses. Wait, if I'm wearing glasses, does that mean glasses girl doesn't exist? Eh. Sorry, lady. You might be curious about the head wrap. Black ladies whose hair doesn't have the oil wrap it in a silk scarf before they go to bed so that the grease that they have applied to their hair stays in their hair and not on the pillowcase. Oh, and grease means like hair, gel, cream, sprays, spritzes, serums. This has been Racial Edification with Amy J. If you went to Stanford University, like I did, probably took Dr. Dement's sleep class. Drowsiness is red alert! Sleep is one of the most important things that you can give your body as an adult. And just like if you feel thirsty, it means you're already dehydrated. If you're feeling drowsy, it means you're already sleep deprived. Get those Z's, bitches. When I was a kid, my brothers used to say I had sock syndrome, that's S-O-C-S, -S, sleep on contact, because it was instantaneous. The minute my cheek hit my fist, I used to lie to teachers in middle school and high school and tell them that I was narcoleptic, which worked great until a teacher, until some smart aleck teacher asked me for a doctor's note. I don't have a doctor, I don't have health insurance. If you wanna know how much sleep your body really needs, take a real vacation and turn off your alarm. See when you naturally wake up. Not on the first night of vacay, because then you're just catching up on sleep depth. For me, it's nine hours. Even if you can't get the luxury night, make sure that you're having good sleep. Get a good mattress. Test out a sleep number mattress. Don't buy it, you don't have the money. Once you find out if you're a soft or a firm person, get a mattress like that from Ikea. Get good sheets. Thread count is a marketing gimmick from the gods. Soft sheets that are comfortable to you. Make sure there's good airflow in your room. If you wake up with your throat sore and you didn't do it, I think you did last last night probably means that there's a humidity problem in your room and you should get a humidifier. I don't know how much they cost. I don't know where you buy them, but they exist and you might need one. If there's loud street cleaning in the morning that wakes you up, close your window because nobody needs that ish. What are you mowing out there? Is now the time to truck the trash? Could you shut your dog up? Also make sure you've got good pajamas. If that means you are most comfortable sleeping in the nude, then take it all off, sister. Make it all. If you're the kind of person who needs, you know, your Christmas pajamas on like your parents used to get you when you were a kid, for the Jewish people watching, I mean Hanukkah pajamas, then you know, get all gussied up before you go to bed. Just don't expect to get gifts in the morning or a visit from the tooth fairy or laid. And after that, just lie down. Don't sleep around. Am I telling you that you should not have random hookups every night of the week? Look, I'm not your pimp. I can't tell you what to do with your vagina, but I will say this. It ain't pretty to sleep all over the city. And men, if you are thinking with your third eye, then you aren't seeing clearly. Um, creep your way back home and sleep in your own bed. No matter what time you get home. Is 5 a.m. still nighttime? It is in Vegas, uh? Wash your face, brush your teeth, floss between them. And in the morning when you wake up, don't immediately check your email. Don't get stressed out early in the a.m., that is not cool. Meditate, pray, do some vocal warm-ups. Bumblebee, 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 bumblebee. Whatever you have to do to calm yourself the F down before you get all riled up in your day. Stretch, maybe. It's good for your body. It's good for your naked arm. Naked arm's my party arm. Do shower either before or after you go to sleep. Don't you try and summers eve your way out the door? Cause that Oda ain't feminine. If for some reason after all that, you're just really feeling like, oh my gosh, I don't want to get out of bed. Don't just default to coffee, even if it is classy. This morning, I'm drinking tea. I'm drinking black tea from a brown cup. Eh, eh, ethnic diversity? Anything to get me out the door because I got money to make. Just remember that adults may need less sleep, but it doesn't mean sleep is any less important. If you do suffer from insomnia, get that checked out. Get productive, write a novel when you can't sleep, write a song, knit a sweater, or read a lot of really great books, create a blog about it, and then call it Insomniac's Almanac. Just get the Z's, but once you are awake, be productive with your day because that's the adult thing to do. Now, if you'll excuse me, Teddy and I are going to go back to bed.